CC today. It is Thursday afternoon, January 25th, and great to be with all of you as it always is. And uh, nice to see a nice positive day in markets really across the board. Um, I was uh, a little uh, concerned mid morning that we were gonna end up with a repeat of yesterday with markets kind of losing a little momentum. But uh, we ended up with uh, 242 gain on the Dow, which is great. The uh, S&P notched a sixth uh, day of gains. And actually, the bond market moved up in price, too, with uh, yields moving lower by about six basis points. Um, we've had earnings that have been coming out that have been kind of fueling markets, too. There was a particularly good print from Big Blue today that was nice and uh, market moving. But um, we had some uh, quite a a couple of different things in the economic calendar come out that I think was really what was behind uh, behind some of the market movement. GDP, a preliminary version of GDP for fourth quarter, came out at 3.3%, and markets were expecting around 2% that I wrote about as of yesterday. So quite a bit better than expected. The consumer drove the lion's share of it. It was about 1.9% of that number, so mostly consumer, but pretty broad-based uh, all in all, and uh, that, that was definitely good news. And I think part of what moved stocks, and then you had some other figures like durable goods that were flat on the month when we expected to gain, and also um, jobless claims that came in a little bit higher than expected, kind of balance out things a little bit. And that's why you saw the bond market actually rally with, with rates come down a little bit. So kind of a mixed uh, bag uh, in economic data, but uh, kind of a perfect recipe for a good, nice market today. Volatility remains fairly low. You know, VIX is around 13 or so, 13 and a half. So I'll take these kind of days. We had uh, energy up again today, which was nice. There was some weather-related production impairment, um, I think is maybe part of that culprit, but uh, energy was up another 2.8% on the day, uh, which was nice. Oil traded up to $77 in uh, change on WTI. Uh, so good news as the world's largest exporter of, uh, of oil and, uh, and, and natural, liquefied natural gas. Um, New home sales on the day were stronger than expected, which is nice to see too. I mean, rates have come down, borrowing costs have come down. And then like I've talked about on the new home sale side, <clears throat> those builders are able to subsidize interest rates and, uh, and buy them down for, for borrowers. It ultimately is just baked into the price of the house. But psychologically, I think someone buying a new house uh, probably cares a little bit more about a lower, you know, 50 basis points on an interest rate for a 30 year commitment versus you know an incremental dollar amount difference in uh, in price especially when inflation has been high and so i think people's expectations of of what they're paying for things are already higher so that seems to be working on the home builder side um, i think those stocks are, are probably a bit overdone here at this point they've had a heck of a run uh, and that's a separate subject but um, some positive momentum inside of it there um, which is good the GDP number of 3.3, by the way, would put the year of 2023 without a revision. They're going to revise it at some point on the quarter. But uh, if it was today, it would be a 2.5% growth of GDP over 2023. So for all those who said um, you know, that rates you know, going up to 5% were, were assuredly going to cause a recession or a slowdown or some sort of sharp contraction, nope, 2023 was just fine and the economy far outperformed what pretty much any economist or pundit would have projected beginning of the year, um, which, which, is, which is good. Tomorrow, we have inflation data coming out with PCE, which will be heavily anticipated. I mean, the economic data that we've had this week has been largely very good. Um, markets have performed fine. Um, year to date, the Dow is up about a percent, roughly, on the year. So for the month of January, we're looking, looking pretty good. And then tomorrow with inflation, we're expecting PCE on the core number to be up about 0.2% for the month, which is a little bit more than November, but that would put the annual year over year number down to 3% from 3.2 on core. That's what the Fed pays attention to quite a bit. We've talked over and over again about what's embedded inside that number that might be flawed with, with shelter costs and things. But um, on headline, we're expecting an unchanged figure tomorrow at 2.6%. So in line, um, I suspect, obviously, if it's below or above those, those numbers, then you could get markets um, you know, either fueled or, or upset about it. But all in all, um, a decent week so far. We'll have Dividend Cafe uh, with you, as always, tomorrow in your inbox on Friday. And um, 
if I don't speak to you, of course, reach out with questions. I do love to hear them. Uh, but if I don't speak to you, have a great evening as always. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for listening. Mm-hmm.